Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 11 24H2, as we have been talking about, is rolling out gradually. And if you are tired of going to Windows Update and checking for updates and you're still not seeing 24H2, then there is a workaround to let you know about, which will basically force Windows 11 24H2 on your Windows 11 23H2 PC. Now, I'm not talking about heading over to download Windows 11 and using the um, Update Assistant or the Media Creation Tool or an ISO. What we're going to do here is we, the workaround involves modifying the registry to look for 24H2 when checking for updates on the Windows Update page. So if you are comfortable to fiddle in the registry and you still haven't received version 24H2 and you want to get it through Windows Update, then just a quick video to show you how to do this. Now obviously I'm going to say this at the outset, um, I don't recommend forcing any update. I forced the update using the update assistant for the purposes of this channel, but if you um, are really wanting to get 24H2 and you are tired of waiting and you want to get it through Windows Update, then this is how you do it. So what you need to do, first of all, is you need to head to the Windows Registry and the easiest way to get that is just to right click, click on run, enter reg edit into the field, click on OK, and here we get our registry. Now, what I would suggest is doing a quick export, a backup of your registry before fiddling. I always suggest that. So if anything goes bang, you can import that back at a later stage. Now, what we need to do is we need to navigate to HKey local machine software policies Microsoft Windows update sorry Windows then Windows update and there we go now what you need to do when you get to Windows update you need to create a new string value. So how we do this is on Windows Update, you right click, New, String Value. And what you need to do is you need to name the value to product version. So that's product version. So that's capital P, capital V, no spacing. And then what you need to do after that is just double click on it and set its value data to Windows 11. So we just type that in. So you type in Windows 11. And then you would click on OK. Now that's the first of three um, things we need to enable. And then the next is you need to create another value by selecting a new string value. So once again, let's click on that new string value. And this time we're going to rename it and name it to target release version info. So that's capital T, target, no spaces, release, capital R, version capital V and that's target release version info so there's one more capital R info so that's target release version info that's what you name that string value to and then once you've done that just double click on it again and you need to set its value data to 24H2 So let's set that value data to 24 H2. There we go. Click on OK. And then what we need to do is we need to right click and select a new D word this time, 32 bits. So there are three steps to um, configuring this Windows update in the registry. So we right click, new. D word 
32 bit value. Okay. And this time we name it once again to target release version. So that's capital T, target release version. No spacing once again. There's no spacing in any of these. So that's capital T, target, release, capital R, version, capital V, no spacing. And then once again, we just double click on that. And we set the value data to 1 because it's currently on 0. And then you click OK. And then what you would do after this is you would close the registry. And then you would restart your PC. And then after, uh, after that, you head back to your Windows updates and manually check for updates. And there's a good chance that you should be offered the Windows 11 24H2 annual feature update sooner than later. And let me know in the comments if this works or not. I'm already on 24H2, but I thought this was interesting. And just another option if you want to get 24H2 and you are tired of waiting. If you install the update, what you need to do once it's installed is you need to head back into the registry and then you need to delete everything you've created. So once again, we head back into the registry. We head back to the same uh, Windows Update key. You can just queue back in the video how to get you once again. And then all we do is we delete all those different values we created. So you go, yes, yes. And you delete that. There we go. And you delete all those keys under Windows Update and restart your PC and then you should be good to go. And that's after Windows 24H2 has been installed. You just delete those keys and that will put everything back to normal. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.